Welcome back to my channel. My name is Scott Hewish. I am trying to bring you these videos to show you how I do YouTube, how I do thumbnails, share my stats, and hopefully we can grow this channel and your channel together. So welcome back to another thumbnail creation. I've got a live stream coming up in about half an hour. I want to make a, uh, a new thumbnail for it. It's going through all my shorts stats on the main channel. It's going through my shorts channel. It's going through my shorts channel, and I want to make sure that I've got a nice thumbnail that's eye catching uh, that I can share. So we're on Canva again today. Uh, I've actually got a, um, I've actually got uh, an idea in mind. I've, I've, I've created, I've created something very similar. Um, already for, for the channel. So um, it's going to be sort of a take on this. So I've already created this. What I'm going to do is show you how I sort of, I do it from scratch, but you'll see it will be very different from the end. You've probably seen on the thumbnail what it's going to look like. So do you like seeing that? Do you like seeing the outcome before before I finished it? Or would you like to would like to be spoiled? I put, put blur it out next time and I'll show you how to do that in Canva. Maybe I'll, I'll do the thumbnail. I need to do a making of the thumbnail for this video of a making of where would we end? Where would we end that? Um, right, so I've already got my screenshot in in the uploaded. So I've just done that, and I I, I was started started to work on it. Hold on, there's another video here. So Canva is a is a browser based graphic design software tool. I'm a I'm a professional graphic designer, 15 years experience. I, I've been really enjoying Canva. I mean, yes, there are limitations. You work around them. I think with with thumbnails. You can do a really good thumbnail with Canva, and there's plenty of people out there that are doing that. So, uh, right, we're going to create a new page. Let's just show you how to do that. I mean, you, uh, you'd go up to here, hit new, and here we are. So what I do normally, I would just actually duplicate this page down um, and start working on this of how I want it want it to, to look. So uh, but as, as this is a design along, Maybe a little little tutorial. I'll start from scratch. All right, I'll start from scratch. I'll go and find this photo and show you how to do it. Uh, okay, let's start off with this photo. Then let's go to uh, my uploads. Well, I've got my I've got the screenshot. So let's put the screenshot grab of what I want in the background, and let's do that. Get that to something something like that. I, what I want to do is see that 48 hours. It's going to be very small. Uh, Rob Wilson from vidIQ has just met, emailed me and said, uh, I've just reached 4 million views. So thank you. Uh, and I want to make sure I want to get that in a little bit as well. So let's crop that in and, and uh, get that there. Get something like that. I'm liking the look. I need to get one of those curved screens, as I've said before, because I'm I'm looking down at my MacBook and I'm looking up at the the Streamyard. So, um, right, okay. So let's now go and find that photo of me. Was it that one? I think it was. And all we're going to do is just tap, and it just brings it in. Because now I'm on, I use Canva Pro, which in the UK is 10.99 a month. There's the link below. You can go and try Canva Pro for. I think 30 days go go and tr try it out it's well worth the investment like i can't i've got all of the software i've got all of the big the big hitters um but i end up using this a lot because it's on my macbook i don't have to fire up the work pc and uh quite enjoy it so must turn on do not disturb mode what's rob wilson emailing me for at this time so here we go it's cut out the background you can see here uh, if there's any bits there I, I, I wasn't happy with, I'd go back in. I can erase some stuff out. I can restore stuff. I can show the original. I can go in and put a bit of background in if I wasn't happy. I can press un undo. I could go and take out my hand if I wanted to. Or like if I wanted to put something in my face, I could do that. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to hit done. And then we're going to sort of place me over here. Now I've already I've already used, as as you see above, I've already used obviously this, this photo. Um, I'm going to get it sort of looking quite similar there. And yeah, so I want it in the same place, uh, ideally, because keep up, keep them all the same. Um, yeah, that's good. What I want is this arrow as well. So again, I'll show you where to go and get that. You go to elements, you type in arrow. And again, it's one of my favorite arrows. I should just save it as a... So what I'm going to do now is actually add to likes. 
and it's going to it's going to be in my likes for next time so and all we have to do is go up to this section here we have to change the color i don't know if i'm going to keep it black um i might might change it it's orange to match my shirt when you're taking thumbnail photos obviously i took a few of those thumbnails um again i'm not going to pull out any stats i think you can tell if you if you if you if you're going to watch this video you're going to know that those stats are pretty epic that's not that's 10,000 in the last hour so um i'm going to like that yeah when when you when you're taking thumbnail photos think about the shirts you're wearing like think about how you want your, your thumbnail to look uh i have have branded this new channel as red uh quite a lot of red as you can see here i've sort of gone for this is quite a muted red um, this is StreamYard. That's how easy it is to click around and do stuff. So um, it's quite a muted red. I like it. Um, I, I'm not a big red fan. So I use orange. I've got orange tees for my main channel. Then when it clashes, it clashes with the red. So ideally, I need to sort of think about that. Maybe maybe wear some more of this. So less of my merch. Uh, if anyone wants to... Uh, get a scott t-shirt i mean do you want that scott logo on there i will uh if anyone comments below first person to comment below will get a scott t-shirt with that logo in a red or black and we'll send that to them first per person to comment on this video saying tee me up scotty there's a t-shirt for you tee me up scotty uh i don't know why i'm in marketing and design and branding i just don't know i just don't know um Okay, we're back on the Canva thing. <laughs> let's 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 do this um, again. I've got this this in mind of what I want it to look like. Um, let's get some text on there. I make that a bit smaller. Let's just get some text. Text I used last time. I'm not going to use that sort of font. I am going to use one of my favourites for thumbnails, which is Anton. Where is it? I'm I'm not in the right one, am I? Add a heading. Sorry, add a heading. And then we go. I've probably just changed that to Anton, have I? Yes, I have changed that to Anton. <laughs> I will. I, I, uh, Bullet Bells just messaged me and says, sorry, he hasn't come up and got the alcohol. That's fine. Um, what do I want here? So I just want sort of stats. Again, it doesn't matter. I, I will change it. It's gone to a, a open, open sands. I'm just going to chuck it in. Just going to sort of see what I want. Copy V. And I just can put shorts. Short stats, shorts, chat, chat, chats, shorts. Uh, and you can change the font size up here. You can just put in 100 roughly. It's going to be a bit smaller. Um, and it's very messy. It's hard to read. Again, when, when you're doing thumbnails, always do them at a certain size, at the size that's going to be, be seen at. But obviously, for this purpose, I need to, for you to see it mainly. That's, that's the main purpose of this, uh, making content out of creating content for myself, technically. So I want you to see it. Um, and then we'll just click, double click that. We'll go up to the font selector and we will choose Anton. And we'll get that kind of to somewhere we want that. Something like that. I'm not too worried at the moment. I might, what I might do, because I've got a video with with this, this is like my channel trailer. What I'm going to do, um, actually, I quite like that in a different font. Let's just see. Um, I've just, what I've done there, I've just pasted the, the attributes from this one by selecting this tool up here, a copy style, and pasted it onto that so it gives it the same same style. Um, just drag it in a bit. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go into this setting, and I'm going to bring the letter spacing in a bit just to make it a little bit cooler. 38, 36, maybe a bit bigger. And again here, just I think it just brings. Oh, I've hit the I've hit the wrong button there. Uh, I think it just brings makes it a little bit more professional. You sort of, you could do that, but I think do want it, you don't want it touching. You just want it nice and easy to read. Stats is a funny word when you look at it for so long like that. So um, that's that. This arrow can come down a bit in size. Uh, again. I'll show you why I'll show you the idea of what I want here. So 
The idea is I want to make this background, which again, I might then have to go a bit bigger because I need to fill the background. I'm going to select the background and I'm going to go to effects. And I'm going to choose uh, one of these du duo tones, dual tones. Oh, that's quite loud. That's quite funky. Um, Fuchsia. Let's do this. And I'm, what, I'm not happy with that red. Uh, I'm going to go and select document colors because I've obviously got some red in, in the document. Oh, the, this red, I assume. So I like that. I don't quite like. That's quite funky. That's not that's not standing out enough. Um, yeah, black. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, what I want to do with me as well. Again, I could probably go and do a do a effect on this, but actually, I'm just going to a shortcut. I'm going to go to um, adjust, and I'm going to take the the contrast right down. I'm going to take the, the color right down, um, and you can see. Here again, make it small. I'm going to change this to white. So what I've done there is hit the shift button, select both, and I can just go to to white there. And yeah, it's quite big on my screen, so I'm going to look at that screen. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not quite popping enough, so I'm going to change. Obviously, that I feel that without that, the eye is just going to get lost off the side of the thumb. Um, but the, the time will be placed over there. So what I'm going to do is just do something like that, make it a little bit smaller, just to bring the eye up to, towards that graph, maybe tilt it, tilt it along a bit. And uh, change it to maybe black. Okay, I'm going to make myself pop a bit. Again, we'll, zo we'll zoom back in for, for your benefit, but I will always try and design most of the time at, um, at what you're going to be using it. So I'm going to... Put the darkness down, up the contrast, and um, make it a little bit. Sh <laughs> That's quite good, actually. I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. Not a lot, not a lot, because it's quite a nice sharp image, and we don't want to overdo it. And um, maybe, yeah, just maybe up that contrast a bit. Again, always look when you when it's small. That will pop quite well maybe even a little bit more in the contrast and little trick then to to make this i do want to lie i want to live something so i want to put like a live to let people know it's going to be a live stream i'm live streaming uh, the stats so we'll go to elements again um i'm just putting live here again most of these functions are from um that's quite good you can obviously then change the, the the color and everything up here if you wanted to change something. Um, because I've got the rever I, I want something that's reversed out, something like this, um, maybe something like that. Uh, that might work as well. That's quite a nice one. Uh, let's just. This is the trouble with thumbnails. I want to be nice and quick. I did one. I used one the other day, live stream. Was it this one? Live streaming, live stream. It was something. I think it was this one. Oh, that font. I'm not too happy with that font. Let's just see if it's in my history. That one. That's the one. It's just got a little curve to it, and you see there the font. That looks a bit. That looks a bit naff. Uh, that is definitely the one I think I used for someone else's thumb the other day. Um, so I'm going to go in there, change the font to that red, and then change the red to that font so it's reversed out. And we're going to sort of either put it up here. Um, I think. I think. I think it's going to work quite nicely down here i'm sort of running out of time now so i need to get this done make sure you hit the like and follow like and follow make sure you hit subscribe if you want more of these give me a like for sharing all this kind of tips and let me know if you if it's helping your channel a little bit um we're going to pop this font now off the 
going to add some lift to it. We're going to ramp that up full blast. We're going to do the same to that one. And I don't think you can put an effect on. I don't think you can put an effect on it. It would be good if you could. Unless, can we do this? Can we cheat here? No, it's not going to let us do that. StreamYard. No, who are you? Canva. Let's, um, let's get that added, please. Uh, right, and then that. So you can see now it's still not really popping off the off the screen that much um i do think we could just size so i've selected all of those there i'm going to group those as well whilst i'm here so if i want to move them again in a minute i can easily do that um maybe do that and i'm going to then last thing i'm going to do is a vignette vignette as one of my patrons allison ali pig my patron said it's vignette That is, I'm happy with that. I'm going to just go in there. I'm going to just space that out. I mean, this is the kind of, there we go. I've done too much there. So my box isn't big enough. That's what she said. Sorry. Sorry, females. Um, so yeah, this, that would be fine. I mean, nine times out of eight, <laughs> that would be fine. So I'm going to ungroup that one. I'm going to select that, drag the box a bit bigger, drag it back a bit. And then I'm going to, what I could do is just drag it to the left, justify it, make sure it's there. And then I'm going to space it out a little bit better, just so it's a little bit. There we go. And zoom out, zoom as far out as possible, just to make sure you're happy with that. I'm, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to hit download. I'm going to leave it as PMG. I'm going to leave it as that because it's the perfect size for, for a thumbnail. And instead of selecting, downloading all three, I'm just going to download that one. Um, and I'm going to hit download. And I hit, hit download. So it's, co it's called Going Viral because it's probably the fourth one I've downloaded of this. I should have renamed it. Uh, so there we go. That is the thumbnail. Another thumbnail done. Please do hit the like button. If you want me to continue making these videos, please do subscribe, share them with your friends. If you're getting any kind of tips out of it, are you using Canva? What is your favorite tool to use when, you, when you're when you graphic designing? Um, I say I'm I'm really happy with Canva. There's a link below if you want to go and try it out for 30 days. Do sign up. I mean, you can try out the pro account. It is a fantastic. As you can see, the cutting out tool saves me so much time on certain things. So um, drop a like and we'll see you in the next one. Make sure you head over to the, all the links below and join our Facebook group, The Shite Club. <laughs> Bye for